This thing is awesome. I added this unit to my patio a few weeks ago and let me tell you, it is pretty cool. The hummingbirds love it and it gives me a really unique peek into the fun world of hummingbirds. There are a lot of things that I love about this feeder. It's super easy to set up and get started. The included instructions walk you through not only setting up the feeder but offer, also offer some best practices for feeding hummingbirds. Next, the footage from the camera is so cool. Check this out. The feeder comes with a generous supply of cleaning tools and spare parts, so I feel well equipped to take care of the feeder and the hummingbird to visit. The feeder seems well designed and comes apart really easy for cleaning and refilling. The camera unit itself slides in and out of the feeder with a quick release and a gentle push. The battery life is amazing. It charges via USB-C and I charge it for about an hour or two every few days and have yet to see it dip below 70% charge. The app is also pretty good. It was easy to configure the connection to the Wi-Fi and set up the camera and motion detection settings. It also works well to review and download the videos. There is an option for a paid subscription, but I haven't tried that. The subscription lets you save videos in the cloud and offers some automatic bird identification. There are a few things that I don't like about this feeder. The motion detection is what triggers the camera to record, and there are some settings that uh, I'd like to see changed or updated. One setting is how long the camera records when it detects motion, and the longest option here is 20 seconds. That's pretty good, but I have seen many times where a hummingbird comes and feeds for longer than 20 seconds. I'd like some longer recording options so it doesn't feel like the recording stops prematurely. I'd also like an option to enable or disable the date and timestamp on the recordings. The camera itself hangs from a hook, and sometimes when the wind blows, the whole feeder moves, triggering the motion sensor. Even with the lowest motion detection settings, I still get more false recordings from the whole feeder moving than what I'd like. Maybe there's another way I can hang the feeder or mount it to prevent that, and I'll keep experimenting. And finally, it's not possible right now to live stream from the camera. I'm sure many people would love the ability to run a live stream directly from the feeder because it is so fun to watch. Though I understand that all of these things that I mentioned, it's a tricky balance between features versus battery life. It's challenging. So there you have it. I love this hummingbird feeder and I've really enjoyed the past few weeks of using it. And it seems like the hummingbirds enjoy it too.